Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video and I'm going to show you guys how to drive the Mustang Boss 302. This one does have some of the Elite Customs upgrades on it. First off, I want to say thank you to everybody for watching my channel. You guys are awesome. Quincy the Gamer, a big thank you to you. You keep sending people to my channel. That's awesome. I really appreciate you doing that. You got a pretty cool channel as well. But yeah, thanks for sending people here all the time. But yeah, I appreciate everybody who watched these videos. Um, if you're not subscribed, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the little bell. That'll notify you when I do make new videos. And uh, let's go ahead and drive this thing, and then we'll talk about tuning in a minute and why you can't just copy somebody else's tune. But what we're going to do is let go of the gas right about number one to launch, which is not getting a perfect start. We're going to get a perfect shift into second, perfect shift into third, slightly before you get into fifth gear, slightly before fourth gear, you're going to hit your nitrous. All perfect shifts after that, okay? My car is running around on 11.8, 11 11 and I think it'll do 11.2 if I remember correctly. Mine's only got about 30 out of the 50 Elite Customs upgrades, so if I do more Elite Customs upgrades, I can add another star and make this car much faster. But anyways, let's get to that shift pattern, alright? This one's really easy to drive. 3, 2, 1, let go. Second, third, nitrous, fourth, and that's it. That's it. That's all she wrote. She should have run on a, a low 11.8. All right. And like I said, if you put more elite customs upgrades on this thing, it's going to run even faster. 11.869, not my best time, but that's still really good. And after I finish these 15 races, I guess I got five more races, and then I get to finish my Mustang, or my my saline s7 the first off tuning you guys cannot just copy somebody else's tune every time you tune every time you add parts to your car even if it's just a couple fusions you might actually need to retune your car completely so if you don't know how to tune a car check my tuning playlist i got a great video called the correct way to tune your car or something like that you can probably find the link to that video in this video's description um, let's go ahead and do another one. So if you don't know how to tune, that'll teach you how to tune almost every one of your cars and get a really awesome general tune on it. All right, so here we go. Let's do that again. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, nitrous, fourth. And there, I do see some people who are doing double early shifts on this car, but that doesn't seem to work for me. I guess I'll show you guys that shift pattern as well, and you can give it a try. 11.876. Let's try the double shift pattern, okay? Let's see what happens with that. So what we're going to do is launch exactly like I did. A little bit after launch, you're going to shift into second early. You're going to shift into third early, and then you're going to hit the nitrous right around the same time, okay? So let's try that. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, nitrous, fourth. All right, so what happens here? I probably could have hit my nitrous just a little bit earlier, I think. 11.844, so that actually worked out really well. So you can try both of those shift patterns if you want. That might have been slightly, slightly faster to tell you the truth. That's the first time I've ever got that shift pattern to run faster than what I normally do. Maybe, maybe that was just luck. I'm not sure, but yeah, I guess my shift pattern or the other guy's shift pattern, either one works great. I'm actually surprised that did better than mine. All right. Three, two, one, go. So that time we got a perfect start. Second. Third, nitrous, fourth. Let's see what that ran with the perfect start. Is that faster or is that slower? I don't think you want to get a perfect start on this car. That was an 11.880. So yeah, you don't want to get a perfect start. Let go right about number one. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish these races. Then I can upgrade that saline and get this whole Legends thing over with. Now, the video I made yesterday, I'm sure you guys probably saw there's more Legends stuff coming out. 
I really hope that's not a bunch of junk that we have to restore because I am so tired of restoring Legends cars. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, Nitrous, fourth. Now that time I got a late start. Okay, I got a really late start on that one. I might even be able to tune this car and make it run a little better, to tell you the truth. There I got an 11.953, so you don't want too late of a start. I guess I'll just go ahead and run off the last couple of these races here. Why not? Let's get this over with. I got a pillow on the back of my chair now. It's pretty nice. You can let rest your head on that thing. I'm enjoying the pillow. Alright. Three, two, one, let go. Second, third, nitrous, fourth. And there we go. Really easy to drive this thing. Yeah, my tuning video, though, it'll show you. That was a slower run for some reason. Yeah, my tuning video, it'll show you how to figure out which order which parts need tuned and different cars you want to turn tune different parts in different orders some cars are weird but yeah that video is great most people love it every once in a while though you're going to find a really weird car that doesn't tune correctly so, but probably like 90 to 95 percent of the cars in this game will be you'll get a great tune from my method that's just a general tune there's that's not like a down tune or any of that other weird stuff there's all kinds of crazy tuning things you guys can do, but if you just want a nice general tune, that that video is for you, and I really just screwed up my shift pattern there. Like, I think I buried a needle or something. That's why I usually stop talking while I do my shifting, because I almost always screw it up, but I still won. All right, here comes the last race. Here comes the last race. So I'm going to try and do it again where I do that double shift. That actually seemed to work out pretty good. Maybe I'll have to start driving mine this way. I'm not really sure who figured that one out. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, nitrous, fourth. All right, let's see if I ran a good time again. This will be interesting. But that, that, that did seem like it was a little bit faster than my shift pattern. 852 so yeah that's actually that might be the way to drive this thing guys that might be the way to drive this thing all right 500 let's see let's go to my garage i have a feeling i just got enough tokens to max this out and if not i'm just gonna dump some gold into it because i'm really sick of uh i'm really sick of doing these i don't feel like doing this again tomorrow all right let's go in here really quickly let's upgrade this guy I have 16,144 and I need, how much do I, I need 16,8. You know what, let's go ahead and just add some tokens. Three, I don't mind spending a little bit of gold. This should do it, right? All right, now I can restore this thing. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend that gold, but in about eight hours, I am completely done with Legends, guys. I'm going to get my McLaren F1, which for some reason doesn't seem to be in the garage right now. It has, uh, somebody has stolen it. This thing is going to be completely restored. And then I guess there is one more Legends series of races that I have to do, but, uh, anyways, I think that pretty much wraps this video up. I'll tell you, though, I like the way the old interior, look, this old, old crappy interior... I think this looks oh the little thing's gone now i can't i can't hit the button to show you what the new interior looks like but i think the old interior looks better than the new interior on this car but yeah i'm actually pretty excited to get this one because this is a really cool looking car i don't know i just like the way this car looks this is one of the only legends cars that i really like kind of sucks you gotta wait so long in order to uh in order to get this thing but anyways I think that pretty much wraps this one up. You know what? I forgot to collect my free crates. We're almost at 10 minutes. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and... No, I don't want to quit. I want to go back to my garage. Let me go correct my collect my free crates. Let's see what I get real quick. 
I might as well make this video over 10 minutes. If it's over 10 minutes, I can put an ad at the end of the video and maybe make a couple extra dollars, which would be sweet. Most of you know I have health problems and I really don't make much money, so the YouTube income helps tremendously. All right, that's all I got, huh? Three more gold keys and I can do another gold pool and probably get some piece of junk. All right. Yep. All right, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day. See ya.